right, so I was genuinely about to upload this week's video last night. Like, this was ready to go, and then I saw this. So fast spent, little T reply, released September the 4th at 9pm. I mean, arguably, it's probably the biggest thing of 2016, so I probably couldn't upload this week's This Week on the Internet without covering it, could I? So the video starts off with her looking like she's just spawned in Tesco car park, looking like she's ready for a couple of rounds of search and destroy. We captured Charlie. Now, obviously, the visuals have been done by Jack Wilkinson, the only bloke in Blackpool who owns a camera. I am so ready for this. Little T, you a silly little twat. Your shit bars, you're gonna get white. Sending it for me like I won't send back, but he but he gives one thing that you like. He but he get Josh, that's a fact. And in this reply, I'm gonna go deep by your mum when she's shagging every week. Fuck that. That shit's peak, you fucked it now that you started peak, you fucked it now that you started peak. Oh, imagine if that was your car, like imagine your car making it on to BG Media, like oh, the prestige. That's 100% her school uniform though, isn't it? If you're a Muppet kid, then you send it for me, but listen, yeah, Josh, 12 years old, jump a wet one, you're gonna get told. Your mum's pussy raw, looking like balls. Hang on. Is she sending for little Teary's mum here? Like, we're about a minute in and she's already had like four digs at the poor woman. Wait, you see your mum and she was shagging in bed, shagging in bed, that's no surprise. Oh, whoa, hang on, she better not be smoking tabs there. Take off a nickel, don't know with the beans, she'll shag it, fuck it, leave it, muff it. So that he got Casey's bucket, mmm, finger licking up. Mmm, you're gonna lose it, making that music, you'll not abuse it, nobody views it. You'll just take, nobody views it. Nobody views it? Um. Yeah, so clap, clap, clap your hand. Your mum's got clap and you got no fans and you're walking around like your old man when it ain't a rumour. Josh Tate ran. Took me long, yeah, I admit, but I have to reply to this little prick and I have to reply to this little prick so this little prick can go so bit. What a tune. What a tune. What were all of those digs at his mum for, though? Like, there was genuinely so many of them, she might as well have just sent for Mrs. Little T instead. Things about Little T's mum according to Sophie Aspin. She goes deep when she's shagging every week. Her pussy is raw. She has the clap. She's a whore. This one's a little bit more complicated. His mother gets deeper and deeper when you poke her and leave her, and then she wants round two, ding ding. Her routine is take off her knickers, shag it, fuck it, leave it, mop it. And finally, she belongs in a zoo. Well, thanks for that, Sophie. So by the time I'd finished watching this, right, I was curious to see what Callum would think of it. My opinion on that, Will and E, was actually, it was really good. Um, Afghan Dan had given me a bit of a false impression on Grime, I think. It had to be really repetitive and have no real climax to it. She was actually proper rapping at that little chew it, munch a little tea. Loads of disses. It's actually inspired me. I'd kind of ignored Afghan Dan because I got bored of him. But actually, I see Grime could be good. And I'm going to do what Sophie Aspin said and go deep on Afghan Dan, I think. It's been too long. He needs talent. I love him. I just love him. Apparently, he's going to go deeper into Afghan dance. I mean, uh, that sounds interesting. So you probably know, we quite like to stay topical on this channel, right? So I saw my pal Beggy had run out of ideas, and she'd done this, like, 100 layers of Justin Bieber challenge. I can't say that. And she'd done this 100 layers of Justin Bieber challenge, right? I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to one-up there. I'm back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, so this, this is Misha, the kid who 100% has to be related to Ellen DeGeneres in some way, shape, or form. And this is his song for all haters for kids. He's off his nut. So the video starts off with him skanking around some really nice looking town square with his Minecraft t-shirt on and his 24 karat gold chain. Actually hold the bus, look at that hat. I thought this was for kids. He then strolls up to some cafe and catches some 27 year old lass grooming a 12 year old boy and uses some of his sweet YouTube ad revenue to save him. Cheers mate. And she then stuffs the Pokemon Go money down her top and they kick off about the town. Have a listen to the lyrics here though, right? Take eyes a 
This is apparently a song for haters, but he's just said he's better than Fousey Chew. Filthy Frank will be replaced. Some person whose name I can't distinguish is disgusting. And Jacksepticeye is a clown. He's hardly replying to haters here. This is bloody cyberbullying, this is. It carries on though. He finds another AdSense loving female to add to his collection and they kick off back again. Look at the disgust on that woman's face when he does it though. Like this actually happened. Like this was an actual thing that happened in public and people saw it. Whoa, 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 hold it there, mate. Hang on. Joe Sugg is just a clown. Not Joe, mate. That's that's where you've crossed the line. Meanwhile, he's bought another female twice his age, which seems to have pissed off the original one. Like, there is so much going on with this video that I just completely don't understand. Like, I kind of keep up with this. He then struts about with his new army, cash still in hand, and then the big guitar solo comes in. How many E numbers does this kid have? To be fair, though, there's quite a lot more enthusiasm than the last guitar solo had. This is for kids. The video then finishes off with him sitting on a throne of females and showing a bit more of that kid-friendly action he's got going on. But what I want to know is, right, like, who came up with this? Like, someone must be making him do this. Right, just before we start, I kind of remembered, you know that sound effect I use when it, like, shows this week on the internet, right? When I first made this series, right, I totally shamelessly pinched that from a channel called Filthy Fellas, right? And it's a really good channel, and it was just supposed to be a temporary thing, but I completely forgot about it, and I realised the other day. So, I mean, shout out to them lot, and I, I promise I'll find a new one for next week. Right, lads, it's been another hectic week. I've been exposed by this lad. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Go away, Willany, go away! Fuck you, Willany. But I don't wanna go away. Hang on. Is that supposed to be me? Fuck you, I'm gonna do a hate video on you. Go away, Willany. Oh, nice one. Cheers, mate. Willany. Will. Me. Because it's actually Will. Me. Will N E. <laughs> no, but. It's actually. Will me? It, it, it's not. Will has three letters. No, no. Two take away. Two take away. Three is one. Illuminati has one eye. Um. I also got sent a message from Anonymous this week. A message to Will and E. You have support by my fellow citizens. Keep up the good work about BG Media and Tic Tac. That was quite nice. Cheers, lads. Definitely was anonymous, not just some normal person with a computer. Right, so I know last week I said that I'd try and not talk about Callum or his corner just in any more videos, but the bloke's got so much going on, it's pretty much impossible not to. The good stuff, he's now hit 25,000 subscribers, which is cool, right? Someone made a rap video for him. Shut up about my head, about my head, hey, shut up about my head, about my head. And he loved it. And it doesn't end there, right? His war with Tic Tac the company came to a bit of a head, and he's created his own brand, Pick pack spasmoids. Interesting. Good luck with it, Callum. But my favourite thing he's done this week, right, is that he uploaded this video, like, talking about old school hymns that he used to sing, right? But have a look at the title of it. Hymns from my school days. Prob's pretty boring, and defo sounds awful. Like, I can't tell you how much I love that. Like, if every title on this website was as honest as that one, YouTube would be a better place. Now, you might remember, about a year ago, I made this video about those Irish traveller lads who are fighting a camera. It's absolutely awful. Don't go back to it. But there's been another one that's came out, and it's exactly like it. And this guy's Irish as well. Right, Buffo, this is me, Baldy. I'll accept your challenge, eh? Is this a thing Irish people do? Is like, you know, fight recording equipment or something? Like, what is going on over there? I'm Jared Dolan, your aunt, and my clinic. When all I see you, I want beer to make your aunt. You know what? I I'd love to break down this video for you, right? But I've got no idea what he's saying. I'm Jared Dolan. Is that English? One thing that I can pick up, right, is that he's calling himself Baldy. But he's not bald. And I'm not usually one for personal attacks, right? But this kid has the strangest body I've ever seen. Like, he has the torso of a 50-year-old bloke called Keith that you'd find in your local pub. But he's also got the arms of Keith's seven-year-old son. Like, he genuinely resembles a snowman. There's also this kid this week. This fine young specimen is Joe, or your local bleach man. Actually, mine just lives three doors down. And if you couldn't already tell, right, he drinks bleach. Let's have a bleach shot. You ready?
I'm pretty sure that's that's definitely bleach. That's 100% not water. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to follow me on Twitter, my at's there, my Instagram's down below, and my Snapchat's just to the side there. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like. It means a massive amount to me. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Shut up about my head. About my head. Hey, shut up about my head. About my head. Hey, shut up. It does not look like a sodding tick time. It does not look like a sodding tick. Shut up. Oh, oh. Well, I warned you what would happen. Do you look like Gareth Bale's little brother? You're pathetic. And you spend a week putting bits of other people's stuff together with you speaking on it. <laughs>